Reopening Harris County, County Judge Lena Hidalgo announcing her framework for doing just that as safely as possible, she says. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Christine Noel. There were three factors that she said laid out in her plan. They were the three T's, testing, tracing, and treatment. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is covering this all for us this morning. She is joining us live. Kathy? Good morning, Judge Lena Hidalgo announced that plan on what the county is doing against COVID-19. She says people should not let their guard down. She also encourages people to social distance and avoid contact with others, and that includes family members. Our only real weapon right now is social distancing, face coverings, making sure that we're being prudent with our interactions, that if we feel we may have the virus, we're getting tested so folks can begin identifying and doing this work of contact tracing. Every single piece here depends on you, and this is a war that's very much still going on. The county plan includes testing, tracing, and treating. Harris County is working to increase testing, which includes a strike team to test at places like nursing homes and two new testing sites in Katy and Baytown. This week, she says the county will have the ability to test up to 1,600 people a day. The county will also hire 300 contact tracers made up of scientists, experts, and others to help track down 20 of the closest people to an infected patient. It would ensure they're tested or remain in quarantine for 14 days. And last of the county is working with the health care system, ensuring there remains free hospital space available to treat a possible second wave of COVID-19 patients. Hidalgo says hospital admissions are not low enough right now, 200 daily, and it remains a concern. Hidalgo says they have had this plan prepared since the governor's announcement now. They have sped it up, and they are hoping to be ready, of course, with everyone's help. Reporting live at Houston Trans Star, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, thank you.